Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I will talk about how to use a Delta DIX selector for server sizing. You can see here we will use the DIX selector to do this. So first of all, we have to uh, download this software from DIX Studio website. And for sure, if you want to download the software, uh, you have to register member and uh, download DIX Studio here. For uh, further detail, you can refer the a video on my YouTube channel. Okay, here you can see, uh, first of all, we have to uh, add down the new project, then we add a new group. Uh, second step, we uh, click the server sizing, then uh, we use a post group as example. Next step uh, is to select the connector type. For this software, uh, we offer a coupling, gearbox, and the belt. Next step is of to fill in the mechanism parameters. So if you add on the coupling, then you will have uh, two more parameters show over here. This one will be the coupling inertia and inertia of coupling join. Second one is a uh, gearbox. If you uh, click gearbox, then uh, we will have a gearbox ratio over here. And if you select the belt, then we will have a belt body uh, reducer ratio. For the rest, uh, basically, uh, here is a for post screw. So you have to fill in the post screw uh, material type and the post screw pitch, uh, post screw uh, length, and the uh, outer diameter of post screw. Over okay, here, you can define the system uh, weight and the uh, low weight. And if you have the force, then you also fill in. After you fill in this information, then uh, click uh, calculate. Next step is to define the motion profile. So uh, you can find here, we will use the uh, acceleration constant speed and acceleration uh, as example. So we use the two meter to second and constant speed we use the uh, two meter. And if you, here you can see uh, the end speed is two uh, meter per second. Actually you can f uh, refer the uh, green line here. So uh, two meter per second uh, and the uh, distance is the two meter, so that means you will uh, use a uh, one second. And next one is the uh, deceleration, the final one is deceleration. So you uh, use another uh, two meter and two seconds. So overall, you will take uh, five seconds. After uh, defining the motion profile, then we, we can have the calculation result. So you can refer the uh, IMS talk and we can refer with the ready talk. Then we can define this one for the encoder type, uh, all your seal with or without break. Then we can define the ready power and the uh, torrents talk. So basically, uh, for different version, the interface will be slightly different and current version will show like this. After uh, you do the selection and it will uh, pump out the model and we can select the uh, server drive and definitely you have also to select the encoder cable and the power cable. Final step is to click the generate report. So it will uh, come out the txt file for your reference. Okay, so come to software portion. We click the new. Uh, after that, we add the new group. Then we click server sizing, then click uh, post school, and here we will use all. Okay, for example, the platform is uh, 100 kg and the load also 100 kg. And here we will use this one for example. This one is uh, for THK post school, and the outer diameter is uh, 32, our pitch is 10. So the pitch is a uh, 10. And for example, the length is a uh, two meters, a uh, two meter and his uh, outer diameter is 32. For the uh, poly uh, ratio, we use a one and gearbox, we use five. For the coupling information, if you did not know, you can put uh, maybe uh, zero, you can keep this one zero. Uh, but here I will use a uh, uh, zero, 
point zero zero one as the example. After you fill in this information, then we can calculate. Uh, click calculate. Then we can go to next step. Uh, as I mentioned here, we will use the motion condition. Maybe move uh, two meter. Uh, in two second. Then we insert. Next one would be the constant speed. So we define the two meter. And then eventually we need to go to stop. So we also define the uh, two meter to second. So here you can see it will uh, totally use a five second. And this one, as I mentioned, because the uh, end speed is two meter per second. So uh, two meter, it take only one time, uh, one second. Okay, then we can go to next step. And you can see here, uh, for the torque is uh, 0 0.5, so we can find the rated one is uh, around uh, 0 0.2. So here we can put uh, 0 0.2, that means uh, 200 watt, and we use the 100%. For the uh, newer version, this one will be uh, automatically uh, bring in. And for example, we want to use the incremental encoder uh, without break. So we can click the filter. Okay, so you will bring out the motor that can fulfill this uh, inquiry, and then you can do the comparison. Okay, so it will show you the difference uh, in uh, yellow color. Then for example, if we want to use uh, this motor, then we uh, select this one and click next. So it will uh, show the servo drive. And for example, we want to use the first train type. So we click this one, and then we have to select the encoder cable and power cable. So first we select the encoder cable. And next, we select the power cable. OK, so we can click a generate report. So this one, so this will generate the uh, motor sizing uh, report. So that's all for uh, today's uh, uh, servo uh, sizing uh, introduction. Thank you.